control weapon will be full of energy I've siphoned from the aliens, and Sonic's world will be the center of my interplanetary theme park. Y'all reckon you'll be able to get yourself enough of that energy to take over the whole dang planet? Yes, I reckon I will. Where is your new voice chip? Got it, right here, sir. Just need to install it. The think bone's connected to the... <laughs> this, the writing for this totally reminds me of uh totally reminds me of like the sonic boom tv show i think that's the wrong chip really are you sure he doesn't normally speak in pirate? On the right side, he's much more exotic now. Just go find him and fix that chip! <laughs> Shortly, I will have no need for those idiots. In just a few hours, Sonic's world will be under my control. When it is, it will be the crown jewel of my amusement park. The greatest amusement park in the universe! Ha <laughs> ha! I think I gloated so hard I pulled a muscle. Hey, what's up, everyone? Kobanaman E456 here today, presenting to all a new episode of The Road to Sonic Forces as we continue on with Sonic Colors, and this time around heading straight to Planet Wisp, which is my favorite stage in this game tied with Aquarium Park. Kind of hard for me to decide which one I do like more because I've always loved water stages, as you all have seen with Hydra City Zone, but at the same time, too, it's like the first time I played this stage. I was just blown away by how gorgeous it was. It was so lush and beautiful and green and not Green Hill Zone, but at the same time too, it was like, it wasn't just beautiful environmentally, it was also the fact that the level design around here is really good, the music is just fantastic, like even here on the Hub World, it's so good. And we're gonna listen to it later on at the end of this video. I'm gonna let it play for a couple minutes so you can hear how endearing the Hub theme is. But uh, as always, if you all are excited, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button, as helps out tremendously. Let's see if we can hit the like goal of 2,500 likes once again. And let me know in the comments below for question of the day. What is the most beautiful stage in the Sonic the Hedgehog series? I think this is going to be really interesting because, you know, it's kind of hard to decide. It's like, are you going to have to choose between art style, just raw visuals with the graphics and whatnot, or are you going to choose something that's like you know, more classic or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I think it's going to be really cool to see what you all have to say down below. But oh my god, this part right here. Bro. Okay, we, we got we to gotta play. We got to play. Let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Act 1. And listen to this music, man. It's so good. And yes, I totally see Sonic has no pupils. But this isn't even the best theme in this game. And the piano, man. Bro. And then when the bass comes into, like, the fact that we have such beautiful music to accompany a beautiful world like this i can't stress enough how much i love planet wisp and and then look at the water in the background too like it looks like freaking grape soda man and i'm just gonna say this right now nintendo totally copied sega when it came to planet wisp because if you look at super mario odyssey there's a stage that totally looks like planet wisp like look at this look at all these glowing rocks in this cavern man like this is stuff that I mean, you could see on the Wii, but it just was not as detailed. So, the fact that we get to play this in 4K with HD textures and whatnot, it just really makes this stage come to life and just look even more gorgeous than it did in standard definition on the Wii. It just really, really makes you wonder why Sega hasn't made an HD remake for this, but, you know, at the same time, it's not like we're missing too much because, I mean, we can just play it on this, but... Uh, yeah, at the same time, it still would be nice if Sega could uh, give us an official one. But alright, let's go ahead and Rocket Man our way up here. Because we're going to go ahead and get ourselves that uh, second red medal right there. And, uh, alright, let's go. You gotta get yourself a lot of points around here, though, because if you don't, um, you won't get yourself that S rank. Like right here, I'm gonna actually uh, come on this pathway here so that we can go ahead and use Pink Wisp. I believe there actually is a section up here that is gonna, um, let me think, is there? I think there's a section around here that lets us, yeah, 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 okay. So we could, if we wanted to, we could just wall jump or whatever, but I'm just gonna do it this way. 
so you all can see how to do it like that. But um, there we go. That's the third red medal right there. Let's go ahead and just spin dash that. But oh my god. And then the different dynamic camera angles around here in this stage are amazing too. Like, it's just so good. Even the quick step section here. Let's go, let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Fourth red medal. And there we go. I believe, yeah, this one, this stage really is short. It's kind of crazy how short this stage actually is. Um, whoa. Okay, so for some reason right there, I almost did not even make that jump. But look at the background, man. Even though we're playing this 2D right now, it's like... At least you get to see such a gorgeous background that just kind of like takes your breath away. And it's really funny too because, you know, this is the world where the Wisps came from. This is where they were like born and whatnot. And it's not even supposed to look like this. Like Eggman's technically vandalized this entire world and is constructing all this different stuff to actually turn the Wisps into his own um, slaves. So it's like, dang, what would Planet Wisp look like? if Eggman actually didn't invade here. Kind of makes you wonder. But all right, there we go, bless. Oh my God. <laughs> the game was just like, here you go, S rank. You already know what it is. All right, so that was it for uh, all the red medals acquired there. And uh, that's it for act one. All right, it's time for act two. And bro, the music gets even more chill around here. It's just so nice. And I cannot stress enough how much I love the, uh, how much I love the bass. And Planet Wisp, it's so good. But all right, so getting all five red medals in each stage in this world is honestly really easy. They're pretty, pretty linear, but like very easy to spot. Like right here, that's the second one. And then the other ones in this stage are very visible too. But okay, so even though we're in 2D, I really, really love a lot of the dynamic camera angles that they have around here. Just kind of like spices up the 2D sections a little bit more. And that was something I was hoping would be a thing in Sonic Forces, but honestly, I feel like Forces' 2D sections are a lot blander than what you've seen in Colors, which is why, you know, I can understand why people don't like the 2D sections in Forces, but, you know, I, I didn't really think they were bad in Colors at all. I, I liked what they did, even though, you know, some of the level design definitely had, you know, um, a lot to be desired, but okay. By the way, jump right here to get yourself the fourth red medal. Okay, hit that switch. All right, we need to hurry our way over here so that we don't get hit by any of those spikes. Because um, if you lose your rings around here, honestly, it makes it way harder to get an S rank. So, all right, let's just go ahead and hop here, get as many rings as possible while he's pouring them out, spouting them from on top. Now, I don't know if getting 1-ups actually gives you more points, but I just went ahead and copped it anyways. All right, fifth red medal there. Look at this, look at this. Just raining money from heaven, bro. All right, let's go. And... That's it for Act 2. Honestly, these stages are really short as well, so this shouldn't be a long video at all either. All right. See there, the rings honestly helped me get that S rank there, so make sure you don't get hit whenever... Uh, you do go through that section where they're like those guys shooting out rings and spikes and whatnot. But there we go. Bruh, this is the best rendition of the Planet Wisp theme as uh, everything just picks up, like the tempo and whatnot. But here we go. Skadoosh! All right, so we got ourselves a quick step section here. So huge tip. When you get ready to jump through the rainbow ring, hold forward. Because if you don't, you will go on the lower pathway. So right here, hold forward and then jump so that you can get out of the way of that laser. And get yourself the first red medal on the upper pathway, along with the laser, because we're definitely gonna need this laser in order to uh, get the second red medal right there. Look at that, just zigzagging away, bro. <laughs> so clean. All right, so I'm gonna take those guys out for some extra points. And uh, like, dude, just look at the lighting around here. I don't know why, but whenever I see these rocks and whatnot, like the cavern-like sections, it just looks so good. All right, so here we go. All right, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so that is the third red medal right there. All right, in order to get the next one, what we're going to need to do is... Because we got ourselves a bottomless pit right beneath us. 
And you know something, Loki, I kind of get tempted to go and just land into that grape soda looking water because that's like my favorite soda. Though I've actually not drank soda in a long, long time because I've been on a diet. I've been trying to be super serious with just trying to get gains and whatnot. Because I'm trying to get big. I'm trying to get like uh, boom niggles, but with some legs, you know, I, I need some beefiness. <laughs> All right, though. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get ready to hit this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and replenish real quick. Let's go. Because you're going to need a full gauge in order to get the fifth red medal. So just time your jumps right. There we go. That's it for Act 3. Man. <laughs> like I said, they're really, really easy to acquire if you know them. And uh, most of them are just in plain sight, honestly. So there we go. That is it for... All right, there we go. I was wondering where that fourth sucker was. Speaking of fourth and not the Chaos Emerald, we're going straight to Act 4 as, uh... Oh my god, yeah, this one is amazing too! Like I said, look at this! It's so pretty, man. Like, I feel like we're running inside of the Egg Genesis right now. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So, another drifting section around here. Um, actually, a lot of the platforming around here is kind of daunting because of how Sonic's jump feels. But look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this view, man! It's so good! I love this. I, I love this stage so much. I can't stress enough how much I love it. Alright, there we go. That is the first red medal there. And... let's go. Yeah, honestly, it's collecting the red medals around here that makes it, like, really annoying. But look at that! Look at that! Your boy was swoosing right through real quick so that we don't have to do all this shenanigans around here. So now we're just gonna go ahead and wait for the Laser Wisp to pop up, and then go to the uh, next section. And there it is right there. You sucker. Alright. So, uh, yeah. We need to come over this way, so that we can hop on this platform up ahead. Dang it. You see there? We gotta go through that. Um, oh my god. No! Oh my god! Okay, that works! <laughs> Yo, the clutchness! The clutchness is real! Oh my god, I totally did not think we were gonna do that. I was about to hit the restart with the swiftness. I was about to, seriously, go as quick as my dad did, but alright, let's go. <laughs> alright, alright, let's go. By the way, one reminder, because I always forget this, if you stump, you will go straight through the rail. So, do not, um, do not try and stump onto rails. That's one thing that's definitely netted me a lot of deaths. But alright, let's go ahead and boost through that. Fifth the red medal. There we go. That's it for Act 4. <laughs> Man! Okay, that stage usually gives me so much trouble, but I really did just do that extremely well. I can't believe I did that so well. Alright. You know, as alien as this place is, there's something very... Eggmanish about it. I think he's transforming it somehow, making it part of his theme park. Attention guests! If you can hear this message, you are trespassing in an area still under renovation. If you are not a robot, please return to the main park areas and ignore anything evil you might have seen here. Thank you. It looks like the theme Yo, the of PSA this park is, is so good in this game. <laughs> I actually really like Colors writing. You know, it's it's like Tails pretty annoying. By the way, Tails is actually the voice actor for Pauline in Super Mario Odyssey. I guess another thing Odyssey copies. You getting any of that? By the way, I'm totally joking totally with, like about out. all this Odyssey it's stuff besides Planet Wisp, so don't 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 take it too seriously, Mario fans. <laughs> oh no, wait, scratch that. They're in shock because of their planet's strange transformation and having been dragged across the universe. Well, I still can't believe he kidnapped a whole planet. How does somebody do that? They're saying it was either ice cream or a Sonic CD. Yeah, well, I'm going to guess it wasn't ice cream shooting out of those generators. If it was, I would get one for back home. Dude, I'd get two. Now, if everyone will excuse me, I'm going to put a stop to these renovations. Alright, so I'm trying to think. What is Act 5? I know this one's more chill, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, so we're gonna have, like, the... Gonna be using the Frenzy Wisp a lot around here. 
because we got ourselves these destructible blocks and whatnot. So come down here. Oh my god. I, I just love the architecture for the ar bleh, architecture for this stage. And we, even look in the background there. I wonder if that's like one of the previous acts we went through. Kind of makes you wonder. All right, let's go ahead and superhero landing right there. All right, Ugh, do not let them take the platforms from under your feet. All right, Rocket Man. Here we go. Third one right here. It's kind of weird though, like you got to be really, really patient and whatnot sometimes so you don't flub different sections, but like, you know, I'm playing Sonic, so it's like, I'm not usually thinking about like trying to take things slow or whatever at all. All right, let's go ahead and fill that up again, get ourselves some extra points here, because when you do actually destroy these yellow blocks and whatnot, you get yourself a lot of points. But all right, that was the, I think that was the fourth one. Yeah, that was the fourth one. All right. And hello. What the heck? That was weird. Jesus Christ, Sonic going through that like like at a crawl. Okay. Oh yeah, so you know something? I wish I wish Sonic and the classic games did what he does in this, to where if he tries to go through like a really, really tight crevice, he slides through it. He does it on his own so that he won't like get squished or something like that but in the classics you know if you're just one pixel <laughs> within like two blocks or something like that is your head's gone you're just on that guillotine all right i love this set piece the way this stage starts out fantastic man look at this look at this yo you can't beat this man you cannot beat this man oh my god i, I can't stress enough how much i love playing with look at the background it's too good man it's too good. All right, so really, really cool thing right here. You'd think to go there, but nah, stump fan, because we get ourselves a beautiful skydiving section here so that we can get ourselves the first red medal. And let's just go ahead and land on this rail. Bro, oh my God. I, I can't stress enough how much I love this stage. Honestly, I think Planet Wisp is the most beautiful stage in the Sonic series. I know, what is it? Oh my God. The clutchness. Um, <laughs> I know, uh, what is it? I know it's not the most, like, detailed visually and whatnot. Because, you know, Unleashed is definitely the most detailed Sonic game in the series. Like, just straight up. Because of, you know, how advanced it was for the hardware that they were trying to run it on. But, um, just when it comes to, like, like I said, architecture, art design and whatnot. I really, really love Planet Wisp. It's so good. Alright, let's go ahead and get this. So we got ourselves... How many red medals did we get so far? I think we got three. Yeah. Alright, so now we need to come up here. Use that Spike Wisp. And you really do use most of the Wisps and Planet Wisp. I think you use like six of them. Alright, so that's the, uh, that's the fourth one right there. Look at the background there too. Why does that look like something from Star Fox? <laughs> I don't know why. That just randomly reminded me of Star Fox. All right, here we go, here we go. Look at this, look at this. Great, awesome, outstanding, amazing. All right, so here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump through the rings. Now, I do like the, I, I like most of the time just going through the like rotating like rails and whatnot, cause that gives a really cool like camera angle. But I uh, have to get a lot of points on this stage. You gotta get a lot of points. All right, so right now we are not going to uh, use the Hover Wisp just yet. But man, listen to this. I need to actually be quiet so you all can hear the music. That did not just happen. No. No. No! What the f***? Well, I guess since I have to redo this, I can show you all this now. See here, look at this. Isn't this cool? I, I don't know why I really like that angle. It just looks really awesome. But wow, I really got DSP robbed there when I, <laughs> that dude just like shot, shot his Glock.
Alright, so what we need to do is go ahead and hit that right there. Alright, this is the fourth one. Now we need to come over this way. And there we go. Alright, so this is how we're going to get ourselves the fifth red medal up top. So let's go ahead and make our way through here. Okay, see there? There we go. Perfect. Alright. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Actually, you know what? Let's get those extra points there. Because we need as many points as possible. We need as many points as possible. Before we go ahead and stump our way to the goal ring. Please give me an S rank. Please give me an S rank. Oh my god, yes. Okay, I was really scared I was not going to get one. <laughs> but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for Planet Wisp. All S ranks, all red medals acquired. And there's the generator. It seems like these guys are getting harder and harder to find. I know for a fact these guys are getting harder and harder to beat. Not really. Please remember, all planets in Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Eggman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. All unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is strictly prohibited. Thank you! Activate me mode. Eggman! I am going to save this planet, and I am going to free these aliens! No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! We can save a so lot you want to know something funny? The part of my last playthrough on this game that had this cutscene in it got deleted from Content ID. Reasonable. The irony. That's crazy. I keep forgetting that they're bosses. I don't know how I'm doing this, but this one is pretty forgettable, so that's probably why. Anyway, so. Alright, so what we gotta do here is nice. Bless, bless, bless. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. So we need to um, basically wait out this attack here. He's gonna start shooting lasers and whatnot. And what that will do is actually make these uh, these different circles rotate even faster. So just wait for him to finish off his phase, and then, wow, there we go, that's it. <laughs> Super easy boss fight. Oh, so now you're going to give your two cents tails? A little bit too late there, friend. But all right, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Dude, it's about as easy as the first boss. Like, there's no difficulty progression with the bosses, really, at all. And uh, they definitely reuse them a lot, too. Definitely having that, uh that Mario syndrome actually now that I think about it so you know what I guess those people who always say Sonic copies Mario I guess you got a point sometimes <laughs> Wow well, sometimes I even impress myself for a second there I wasn't sure I was going to pull it off no oh, who am I kidding we both knew how this would end uh, are you talking to the broken robot who can't hear you uh maybe that's between me and the robot. See, the important thing here is the alien planet is free. Absolutely. So, we can just forget about the whole talking to dead robots thing, right? Nope. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> well, come on. I've seen you save the day a lot of times, but I've never seen you talk to a pile of metal. Touché. All right, so that wraps up for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, like I said, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And next time, we will be uh, going to Aquarium Park, yo. I'm so excited for that. It's so good, man. Love Aquarium Park. I cannot stress enough how much I love that stage, too. And it's so hard to decide. But seriously, Planet Wisp is one of the most beautiful stages in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. And... Let me know down below what are some, what you think are the prettiest stages. Because I also think Chunan's really pretty. What else was in Sonic Unleashed that I really like? I'm trying to think. Jesus Christ, my mind just went blank all of a sudden when it came to like gorgeous stages that I love. Oh, Autobot too? Autobot was amazing. Oh my god. But alright, I'm going to let you all listen to the rest of this. Anyways, thanks again for watching. See you all. Have a good day.
Peace, Republic of Kuwana Land. Take care. Seriously, am I the only person that gets Knights vibes from this? This is totally Knights. This is totally Knights. I gotta do a Knights playthrough. 